It's wiggling, and he's sitting on the toilet. And he's like, oh, it's a worm, so he doesn't know what to do with himself. A Fresno man with a ravenous appetite for sushi made a gruesome discovery in the bathroom, pulling out a five-and-a-half-foot-long tapeworm from his body. The doctor who treated him says the man is doing all right now, but the discovery caused quite a stir in the emergency room. Axel News reporter Christina Fan spoke to the doctor, but we do want to remind you the pictures are not for the squeamish. Christina? That's right, Liz Warren. When the man initially made the discovery, he thought it was his intestines that were hanging out and that he was about to die. But instead, it was a parasite. It was sometime last August at Community Regional Medical Center. A young man walked into the emergency room with an unusual demand. He asked me for worm treatment. And I was like, oh, not an everyday request. Dr. Kenny Bond is usually skeptical of patients who self-diagnose. But in this case, the man was adamant about his symptoms. It began with a trip to the bathroom, some bloody diarrhea, and the realization that something was dangling from his rectum. And he thinks it's very odd. And he doesn't get it until he says, oh, and then he pulls it out and then it wiggles. And it, it starts moving in his hand. He just chops it. It's like, oh, that's a worm. A tapeworm, to be exact, measuring five and a half feet long. The man brought the parasite with him to the hospital, wrapped around an empty toilet paper roll, along with his hypothesis. And he says, the one thing I like and I, that I love is that I love sushi. And specifically, I love salmon sashimi. And I eat it every day. Dr. Bond says raw fish is a reasonable cause for an infestation. The tapeworm had likely been growing in the man's intestines for at least six months. About the time last year, the CDC put out this alert, warning about parasites found in Alaskan caught salmon. What does everyone want to know? When did I get it? Where did I get it from? And I was like, he wants me to go all house MD on him. Questions also arose. The tapeworm helped the man lose any weight. Everybody asks me that, and the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> so it's like all the, all the negatives of a worm infestation and not even any of the positives. Dr. Bond says ingesting worms is not the way to lose weight. And in this case, the man visited too many local sushi restaurants to pinpoint where he may have gotten the infestation. But he did tell physicians as he left that he would never eat sashimi again. And for those of you at home who really do enjoy sushi, Dr. Bond added that even if your salmon does contain worms, as long as the fish is flash frozen properly, the temperature should be enough to kill it. In the studio, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.